when someone comes along every now and then in any sport someone comes along and just elevates the level of performance to this extreme extent where everybody has to recognize oh you're in the mike tyson era you know mike. before mike tyson people have to understand what was going on with the heavyweight division it was dying it was it was not good and you had, the, it was, everyone was sad because Muhammad Ali got beat up by Larry Holmes. Yep. And then nobody get, ever, ever gave Larry Holmes his just due. Larry Holmes was a wicked boxer. Yep. He was wicked. He had one of the best jabs of all time. But he was killing a legend. But he killed what, a legend. Yeah, yeah. That's what people were. They liked him a little when he beat up Jerry Cooney. Yeah. And then they liked him a little, well, when he came back to fight Tyson and Ty, he, he, he fucked Tyson, around. Tyson, yeah. yeah Tyson. That was, found out. He found out. Yeah. That was Tyson when he was Tyson. <sighs> when, in his young 20s when yeah. he was just unstoppable. Bad-ass unstoppable. When he knocked out Larry Holmes, it was like, what wow. am I even seeing? Yeah, yeah, that is was... Larry Holmes laid out? Is this and he, real? And he said he did it in part because of the Ali thing. He was he was, he was was still angry that Larry had beat. Didn't he say that, that Larry? I think, I think Ali was in his corner. It, oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. I think Ali said something to Mike in the corner before yeah. the fight. I, see if that's true. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's true. Mike I think is, Ali was there. Mike is one of the wisest warriors, too. Like oh I, my God. People, I don't know if it's, if it's because of the lisp or what. People tend to, they, they, they try to qualify Mike as not as intelligent, or they used to. But his wisdom, his sim, the simplicity of the wisdom that he implies to especially young men, I think is is valuable beyond measure. When Mike Beyond talks, measure, yeah. And it, also, you know, yeah, see, so Muhammad oh, Ali was in the ring with him. I mean, that right there is heavy. That right there is very heavy. Oh, you probably told Larry, my boy going to fuck you up. Fuck him up. <laughs> like, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> and imagine the inspiration when the greatest of all time comes up to you and you're in your young 20s and he wants you to fuck this guy up for him. And you can. It's all. And you can because this all. is Mike Tyson back then. It's all. Bro. Look at Larry. Uh, Larry probably didn't want to be there that day. Larry, well, he did, though. That's the thing. He did. Larry asked for this fight. Larry came back. He Larry was only, maybe he was only 36 at the time. Probably needs Yeah, yeah I was about to say, yeah. I, was about to say. I don't think he got the big paydays that he deserved because I just don't think people liked him. For, and it was just 100% because of the Ali thing. If there was no Ali, if he, came, if he beat the guy who beat Ali instead of beating Ali, he would be a, another huge applauded heavyweight like, yeah. publicly. But he, he is in boxing circles at least. Yeah. Like people who know boxing appreciate Larry Holmes. He was awesome. But God damn this fight. This fight was Mike when he just moved different than anybody ever. Anybody that oh, – it was yeah. like Jack Dempsey times 100. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like what he did with like the bobbing and weaving and the way the, he would close the yeah. distance. It was very unusual. And you look at this. You can't really prepare for all that movement. I mean, who the fuck can move like that? Yeah, Gus model knew what he's had in that kid. Customato uh, yeah. found him when he was just 13 years old, man. And, you know – it was the first thing that he ever did that gave him like real joy and people yes. loved him and people applauded him instead of hated him. But goddamn, dude, he was so scary back then. That hook from up Woo. under is something that Mike just to nasty me. hook to the rib cage. Yeah. I mean, he just kept coming at you, man. Kept coming at you. But the second round was where Larry started to get his jab off. And it was very interesting because you realized how, I mean, this was Larry. You know, I don't remember what year this is, maybe 90 or something like that. They say he's 38 years old. At 88. Point. Okay. Yeah, he's 38 years old at the time. And he's also, you know, no steroids back then. They yeah. didn't have anything. Like, there's, you didn't have peptides. You guys didn't really know how to recover like they know how to recover now. When you're that age, you were kind of done. Yeah. He was had more so soft around the midsection. You could see he just doesn't look like Larry Holmes when he was in his prime. But that you get to see still that, fired jab, off, though. that dude. jab, still That left jab is so still. So he gets loose somewhere in, in the round, and it drops his hands and starts. Look at that, that, that right hand they just planted on him. Dude, Larry Holmes was so legit. This Ooh. was just too late for him. Yeah. It was just too late for him to be having this fight. I look, Trump Plaza. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So, no, this is it when he starts getting loose with his jab. Now, uh, oh, no, that's the KO, son. What would you have before that? I, was, I, just, skipped, I just skipped in between the round. Oh, okay. Round so the round. third round or the it's, fourth round. Yeah, this is it right the there. So this is it. This is it right here. Look, at, look how loose he gets with that jab. Yeah. He started getting loose and swinging his jab left and right. Look at that. Popping it out there. Look at that jab. Yeah. Dude, Larry Holmes was a bad motherfucker. 
They just didn't fight in their primes. Yeah, they Mike was them. in his fucking prime. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, even then, even in their primes, Ooh. Mike would have probably got them. I mean, Mike was special. He was. It was different. It was and different. It, 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 a lot of times because of the the, bob, the ducking and bobbing, we, you were yeah. only hitting the top of Mike's shoulders. On yeah. the back. You weren't hitting, you weren't getting clean shots to the ears or the chin. And he could take it. That yeah. was the other thing about Mike. He's built like a bulldog, too. His chin was insane. Yeah. And his neck was insane because yeah. it's one of the reasons why a guy gets knocked out is the head rotates. Snap. And you can protect that with he, neck exercises. Yeah. So Mike was one of the first boxers. Does eating pussy count as a... Yes, a little bit. All right, straight yeah, up, that's straight, some up reps. straight up, straight so, up. some reps. So if you get caught cheating on your wife, just tell her you're training. Yeah, put like a weight vest on your head. Yeah. Yeah. Just get it. Yeah, boom. Oh. Yeah, but at this point, Larry's ready yeah. to go. He's all right. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, he's it's in time trouble. to go. He's in trouble. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Ooh. look at that right hand. Oh, that left hook. Larry is still up. Oh, Oh. This is the end. This is the end. Then a right hook right after this. Boom, right there. Damn. That is crazy. Yeah, Larry's like, fuck that. It's been a day. It was just crazy to watch him get knocked out. It's a temple shot, too. And he had fought so many big hitters before this, yeah. early in his prime. He fought Ernie Shavers, who many people say was the, the greatest puncher of I all heard. time. Was Shavers as fast as Mike in this time? No. Because, that, that, like, the, no. the big hitters... If you watch them, a lot of them were, were motherfuckers, but Mike was fast. Fast, yeah. yeah and, that, and big hits coming fast yes. hurt a yes. lot. You don't have the seconds to kind of step back and recover. Right. Like, I don't think Mike had the one-punch knockout power that George Foreman had. No. But I think he had speed like a middleweight. Yeah. And that's what was crazy. Yeah. He was just swarming. Yeah. So this is Shavers. Ernie Shavers. Yeah. And Shavers was a bomber. That dude had just wild power. He wasn't the best boxer. But he was a very strong. good boxer, but his fucking knockout power was tremendous. And his power is weird, because if you look at the two of them, oh, look at that Ooh. knockdown. I mean, that's how hard Shavers hit. Check this out, dude. I mean, this is boom. I mean, my goodness. So Larry Holmes had a crazy chin. The fact that he survived that wow. back then, and he couldn't survive Mike. Yeah. But it's also 38 years old. Like, for fighters, they don't want to believe it's over, and it's over. It's over. And, and you're, you got, like, nine good years. Like, a, a world-class fighter for the mo like an average of not Some guys can stretch it out to 15, 20 years. Some guys, are, it's amazing. Like, Jim Miller just had, I think he first fought in the UFC in 2005. Hopkins was, was, was mean. Bernard Hopkins was. Oh, he was the best at that. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. he was so technical. Yeah.